My beloved brothers and sisters, it's great to be talking to you. And as you know, we all have examinations in life, uh, different types of examinations, and each one has to try very hard. As you know, uh, in a setup where there is a school or a university, uh, at the end of every semester, trimester or term, you would have some examinations in order to qualify you to get to the next level. And as you progress in life, the examinations become more and more difficult. And uh, you would know that without working, we don't achieve. We know the common saying, man jadda wa jadda. Whoever works very hard will definitely see the fruit of that particular working. So just like we have people who fail because they did not work hard or they did not understand that the examination would become more and more difficult as time passes, we also have an issue with the deen where as we progress in life, we will have more and more tests and they become more and more difficult until we meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why the Prophet sallallahu was told, Worship your Rabb until death overtakes you. Worship your Rabb until the end. Right up to the end. Keep on worshipping. Continue. Do not stop. Do not pause. Do not lose hope. In fact, progress and become stronger and stronger. If you take a look at uh, some of the other verses of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, makes mention of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam delivering the message. It was not easy and it was difficult. He faced so many challenges. He continued and he persevered. 23 whole years of nubuwa. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, when you have uh, subhanallah, subhanallah, you know, the achievement that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant each person achievement according to his will, obviously, but also connected to the effort that that particular person makes. If we were to give up suddenly, we would never be able to achieve even Jannah. Imagine a person who reads Salah uh, for 70 years and suddenly the last year, just before they die, they give up their Salah, they throw in the blanket and say, that's it. Such a person has been mentioned in the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu where a person could be worshipping Allah for so many years and right at the end they, 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 they turn so they are cast into hellfire. And a person could be uh, uh, disobedient for so many years and right at the end they worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, turn back to Him so they will be from amongst those who go to paradise. So it's important for us to know that to give up, you don't know how close you are to the end. Imagine a person digging a tunnel, for example, and right when they are near the end, they suddenly give up thinking that, you know what, uh, I don't know how long this is going to carry on for. Had they carried on for a minute longer, they would have broken through. So with us, we need to continue, fulfill your salah, progress, develop. Don't think for a moment that life is going to become any easier. The only thing that will happen is with the development of the link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we become more content. We understand the nature of the world. We understand the nature of the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we enjoy going through them in the sense that we are content. We are happy with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters, not only do I say work hard to achieve here in the dunya and may Allah bless you and grant you success in these examinations, but even in the akhirah, we ask Allah to bless you, to open your doors, uh, to prepare for the akhirah. It's not uh, an easy task, but with the hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, things will be made easy. And at the same time, with the constant preparation, without giving up hope, uh, never ever giving up, never say no, uh, never just throw in the towel, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will achieve and we will achieve great heights. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.